All right, then, is number 191. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. O Jesus, you are sanctified. A fast of forty days complete to give us courage to perform the penance all in nature needs. Be present to
God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Oh, where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night, if even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every step of my face was decreed before one of them came into me. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh God, that you would slay the wicked, men of blood keep far away from me. Would deceive their love against you, and set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you, abhor those who rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hate, and they are foes to me. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. 
Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For neither from the east nor from the west, nor from desert or mountains comes judgment. But God himself is the judge. One he humbles, another he exalts. The Lord holds a cup in his hand, full of wine, foaming and spice. He pours it, they drink it to the dread. All the wicked on the earth must drain it. As for me, I will rejoice forever and sing psalms to Jacob's God. He shall break the power of the wicked, while the strength of the just shall be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. There is one judge, he who is able to save. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath. And the moment to judge the dead, the, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who hear you, the great and the small alike. Now salvation and power come, the reign of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and do that well therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty.
mode to. We were beaten in Hanimam Su Amro Terre, in Veni Ede Aghine Terre. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who hear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cleansed out the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. In His mercy, God sends the Holy Spirit to shine on us, so that our lives may radiate holiness and faith. Let us raise our voices in prayer and say, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, source of all holiness, draw bishops, priests, and deacons closer to Christ through the Eucharistic mystery. May they grow daily in the grace of their ordination. Teach Christ's faithful people to be devout and attentive at the table of his word and of his body, so that they may bring into their daily lives the grace they receive through faith and sacrament. Grand Lord, that we may see in each person the dignity of one redeemed by our Son's blood, so that we may respect the freedom and the conscience of all. Teach us to restrain our greed for earthly goods and to have concern for the needs of others. For an end to the pandemic, for those who are sick, for those who care for them, for all souls perish, for Father Sam. For the greedy family. Pray for Chris and for Michael. Be merciful, dear faithful people, whom you have called to yourself today. Grant them the gift of eternal happiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. From their actions with your inspiration we pray, O Lord, and further then with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. Despise not my petitions, but in my clemency, hear and answer me. Amen. 